Hi, I'm Dr. Katherine Schreck, and you are watching Ask the Expert. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we're going to be talking about some signs to look for for your mental health and some tips to help you get through. Different mental health conditions that someone might experience include anxiety, depression, and there can be trauma symptoms, grief related to the loss of a loved one. Most of us experience anxiety and depression at some point in our lives, worry and sadness. But when it becomes something that interferes with your functioning, and it goes on for an extended period of time, then you wanna look at whether it's a clinical issue. It's important to seek help when you're struggling with these issues because it can affect your life in many ways. And if you're experiencing these things for a long time, it can really make you feel like you can't shake it and there's no way to get out of it. So seeking help for these things is really important to get you back to where you were functioning before and to not feel like you're alone in it. So some tips to help manage mental health. Uh, I would say first and foremost is self-awareness. Monitoring how you're doing. And if you're noticing changes in how you're feeling, how you're thinking, um, you're not doing things you used to do, you're isolating a little bit more, just monitor how you're doing. Talk to other people about how you're doing. Uh, if we talk more about it and it becomes more open and accepted, then we don't feel so alone. Other tips include doing things that you used to like to do before you started to feel that way. So get outside a little bit. If you used to like to cook and you stopped, just make something small, um, small steps help to activate neurotransmitters that get you going again. Seek family and friends, uh, talk to your therapist or seek therapy. Do deep breathing, um, mindfulness where you use your senses, you know, listen to the rain, look at the sun, feel your feet on the ground. Those kinds of things can just make you feel centered again. Some symptoms of depression to look out for include uh, depressed mood for more than two weeks, feelings of hopelessness, a loss of interest in activities you used to enjoy. There can include weight gain or weight loss, sleep disturbances. There can be issues with concentration with that as well. Some people may experience some suicidal thoughts and uh, feelings of guilt. Trauma can manifest in the way that you feel hyperarousal. Um, your nervous system is activated. You may avoid situations that remind you of the trauma. You may experience flashbacks, nightmares, um, and changes in mood and cognition. So a lot of self-blame comes with trauma as well. We usually experience some sadness with loss and there's changes to our lives depending on who we lost. But things to look out for include uh, prolonged loss and not being able to move through or um, go on with your life in any type of healthy way. The one thing that I think would be important for people to know is that it can be scary and intimidating to make the first step to get to therapy. Um, but I've had many people who come in and say, that wasn't that bad, and I might come back. So I would urge you that if you are feeling that way, check it out and find someone who's a good fit for you. And it really is just having the conversation about how you're doing and what can be done to help you get where you need to be. So North Shore offers quite a few services. They have psychiatric services for medication management. We do testing for psychological and psychoeducational testing. So this helps just with diagnosis and treatment recommendations and um, possible accommodations. It helps people to know themselves better and and to be able to identify uh, particular diagnoses that they might be struggling with. For more information, visit northshorehealth.org.